Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. Um, I've got... Well, we got the steel done in the last episode. Since then, I've added the third iron smelting area. So we're looking good there. I should probably... <laughs> I should probably check my factorial planner. And see if I've got enough. Um, that's something I haven't really calculated. It says I need 627 machines making iron plates. But it also says 404 making steel. So that means I'll need about 250 or so making iron. Because the factorial planner is including the requirements for steel. So just iron by itself. Yeah, I've got... 144 furnaces in each of these. So I think, yeah, I think I should have more than enough iron. Oh, and also a lot of that iron in the calculator is going towards green circuits. And I already have those over here. So, yeah, so I think I probably have more than enough iron plate production by itself. Copper should be the same. <clears throat> so I'm feeling, feeling pretty good there. Um... And then I also expanded the depot for iron plate and I added a few more trains. Okay, so I've got, what's that, 12? I've got 14, 14 trains now with iron plate. Uh, so that's all good. Um, the steel, you know, like we said last time, I, I still need to duplicate steel two more times. Um, I haven't done that yet, but we also don't need it yet. Um, I'll work on that little by little. Um, it's going to take a while because the, the build itself is so wide that I'm not going to be able to cover the whole area with robo ports. Um, so I'm going to have to pretty much do the whole thing with my personal robo ports and that'll take some time. Um, but one thing I could do, yeah, I think one thing I'll do that could help is I'll make a blueprint of the whole thing so that I can count what materials I need for each one and then I can start to buffer the materials. I was surprised to find out that I had not been making electric furnaces here in the main base. Um, apparently all the electric furnaces that I had were left over from the starter base or something. I don't know, <laughs> but all the smelting I put together up until now, I've been doing without any electric furnace production here in the mall. And I went over it a couple times. Yeah. I mean, this one I just added, but yeah, up until then. I guess it was probably all just left over from science packs and stuff that I made previously. I'm surprised I didn't run out already. Um, but you know, I've got the stone brick down here. Um, so that's why I set this up with bots. So I just bring the stone brick up with the bots and I'm just filling about half of a chest here with furnaces. Um, so let's, let's actually do that real quick. Uh, now beacons, you know, beacons I'm already making. So I need 352 furnaces to make one of those. And that's 500 there. Okay, well, I think as long as I fill that chest, I'll be fine. Okay, um, my six reactor arrays are ready for deployment, but I'm going to, I'm just going to wait. I'm not going to put them there until I really need them. Right now we're doing fine on power. Okay, so I'm going to, I'll just move steel down the priority list. More iron, I'm gonna mark that as complete. Uh, so the next thing to do would be engines. So let's take a look at our engines. I plugged my numbers into the calculator. Um, and this is, let's see, per column, 
per column, I need 54 electric engine units per minute. And 2090 divided by 8, 262 regular engines. All right, now the 54 times 8 times 8 columns comes out to about 425. You know, when I first looked at that, I was like, how am I making 2,500 science packs a minute with only, you know, 400 and something engines per minute? But then I started thinking, okay, well, one robot frame takes one electric engine, and that'll give us three utility science packs. Okay, so that 2,500, you already divide by three because of that. Um, and also we're getting, we're getting productivity bonuses on the flying robot frames. Okay. So I'm getting a 40% bonus or 40% reduction in, in, uh, raw material need <clears throat> on the flying robot frames. And then I get another 40% reduction on the science packs themselves. So that's, you know, when, that's why these low numbers start to make sense. And that's why it's so powerful to stack all these productivity bonuses. Okay, so let's start with that. So for that, we'll need 54 a minute. And then if I click that, that gives me 316. See, it's adding the 262 and the 316, but the 262 includes the 54 that we need. Uh, so let's do... 262 minus 54 and I don't I don't know if anybody can tell me but when I first started to use this I would see stuff in byproducts and ingredients and um, since some update these things are all completely blank I don't know why I, I thought it was pretty useful before but it doesn't show me anything anymore and I don't know if it's broken or or what the deal is Okay. Well, anyway, uh, so the 262 minus the 54 is 208. So let me change this to 208. All right, and then I get 260. Was it 262 or 252? Two. All right, I need two zero. Nine zero divided by eight, two sixty two. Okay, good. We're all set. Okay, so um, let's put in our productivity. Let's put in our beacons. I guess we'll do twelve beacons. Okay, so we'll need four and one. And then we also need to make the gears and the pipes. Oops. Okay, so less than a machine on gears. And I expect that pipes are going to be the same. Okay, so pipes can't use productivity modules. So I'll just fill it with speed modules, and then we won't need to use beacons for that because we'll already only need one machine. Um, and on the gears, we can also... We can also cut down a lot on the beacons. Let's see. Two machines with no beacons. Hmm, okay. It'll only let you do one type of module. Sometimes, you know, you could put in three productivity and one... 
and one speed module. All right, so let's see what's the minimum amount of beacons that we need to get to get down to one machine, one beacon. Okay, so I can just put this next to the beacons by the engine unit and we'll be good there. All right, let's go build it. Engines, where are you? Over here. Oh, and we should look at our raw material requirements. I'll put iron plates all together. Okay, so less than a belt. Yeah, less than a belt of everything. All right, so this will be fairly easy to build, I think. Um, nonetheless, we will upgrade everything to blue and stack inserters everywhere. We might not need it actually. If we only need 0.1 of a blue belt, then yeah. Okay, so let me cut all these belts. Now well, let's do it right there. All right, and I really should have done this a while ago. But we can do this to help speed things along. Okay, I'm just going to pause recording for a minute while I wait for this material to get used up. I will be right back. All right, I got tired of waiting. <laughs> we'll just pick it all up. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll redistribute some of these materials to the chests. All right, so like all these green circuits... We can put back in there. All the red belts we'll put in the trash. Uh, steel we can put in these chests. Okay, and we got some extra iron plate. We'll get rid of that. Half of it. Okay. All right, and then we'll start picking up all these red belts. Look how much range now I have on these bots. It's awesome. Eight roboports. And if I actually wanted to spend the materials to make the the fusion batteries and that shielded singularity. I could get even more in there, but I don't know. It's awfully expensive. Ten fusion batteries to make one of these things. And each one of those takes ten Mark II batteries and efficiency module threes. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems seems too expensive. Okay, and then I'll pick up Are these all full? Yeah, those are all full, so I could I could pick up all the extra engines. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't do that. I 
I mean, if the chests are, if every chest is full, then my outputs are currently balanced, right? How about here? These are almost all full. All right. So I'll pick up all of that. And then I'll upgrade what's left to blue. Okay. I'll just leave this here for now. All right, well let's let's get started with the first one. I need some beacons. Okay, is that the middle? Yeah, this is the middle. All right, so we'll start with the most space, and then we'll shrink it if we have room. Whoops. All right, so we need four engines and one red engine. Okay, and then we'll put the gears Let's see. Yeah, the gears needed a speed boost and the pipes don't. Okay, so I'll put the gears here and we'll put the pipe there. Or let's put the pipe here. And that way it'll be easier to get both of them on a single belt. Like that. Okay, and then <clears throat> I need some modules. It's four speed modules. I wonder if three would be enough. Why do I keep all tabbing out for this? Yeah, three is enough. Okay. So that's going to come up here. And then we also need steel. And we had steel and green circuits on a single belt. So that could be over here. And then the output. Could go there. Yeah, I think that would work. Okay. So let me move, whoops. All right, so let's move all this down by one tile. Or you know what, let's not. I mean, I've got, I have plenty of space here. 
I don't need to I don't need to shrink it. Okay, and then I'll put the substation where? In the corner, in the middle. I think I like putting it in the corner. There's one, two, three, four. And then, ah, uh, yeah, see, that would be one advantage of shrinking. It would be fewer substations needed, but that's okay. They're relatively cheap. Yeah, and I'll put that one here. I have to feed these material as well. Okay. Let's put that one right there. That's the circuits and steel. over by one tile. And the iron, the iron can come up there. five items a second okay I think we're gonna need fast or stack inserters here okay so there's my four now let's get this to continue on Copy one more, and then we'll change the recipe. So that's going to be my electric engine. Yeah, we need to get pipes up here too. Okay, now at this point, I no longer need pipes and gears. Okay, and here I have my regular engine units loading onto the inside of the belt. And we can take one off. And then our output goes on the outside of the belt. Here we are taking green circuits. Okay. So I think that's it. Well, it's almost it. We have to get the pipes up here with the lubricant. For that, I think I think we put it over there. And I think we can run the pipes here.
Okay. Alright, so we'll make this all blue. Actually, let's... now yeah, let's just pick all this up. I'm gonna have to reroute this, I think. How do I have this? Iron, steel, and the other thing. Okay. All right, so let's do it like this. And that way we can keep the belt arrangement the same. Um, <clears throat> I will have to redo the plumbing though for the lubricant. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all those pipes. And I don't like how all these belts are coming out either. All right, well, I'll fix that. Okay, so I'm picking all that up so I can move it closer. Well, let's put it right about here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and I need beacons and modules and underground belts. So let's do beacons first. do the modules. Okay, and then I need underground belts. And for that, we need to go back to the base. Let's put our modules back. Got a bunch of engines here, which I guess I'll just take back to the base. to 500 underground belts. I should <clears throat> should probably be carrying more. I use them quite a lot. One, two, three, four. Okay, close enough. Let's go. Nice to see science progressing. I'm noticing that now my UPS is, I don't know, slightly below 60. I guess it's still pretty much unaffected by what I've been building. Okay, so that's all done. Um, 
Yeah, let me just, I'll just strip this down all the way to there. Okay, um, so I'll do the belts first and then the pipes. Everything that's here. Because I built this when I only had red undergrounds, and what I have now can go much further. before I should be working from this end first. Okay, so we got all of our solids routed. Uh, and I right away have a problem. Well, it's not that big of a deal. X, there we go. We'll have to make it a little bit ugly here. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, 
Okay, that was a close one. <laughs> first one there's the second one this isn't really well thought out is it Fortunately, the volume of the volume of fluid that needs to flow here is not too great. So having all these little bends and things is not going to affect us too much. Let's make sure that the lubricant's making its way up there. Okay, time to turn it on. single belts and we'll pick up fast inserters. So the first one we can do like that. It'll still end up on the inside of this belt. Okay, and then these, I have to do that.
Okay, let's try this again. Okay, looks good. And then we have a single belt with the engines. All right, and then up here, we need the splitter. All right, and I'll put, I'll put priority, I guess it doesn't matter which side. Okay, on that side. Okay. All right. Good to go. Um, now these electric engines, again, 2,090 per minute. For the whole base. But that's not what I'm exporting. 208 is per column is what I need to export, right? So 208 divided by 60, all right, that's three and a half per second. So, uh, so no problem with a single inserter. Okay, and then those will slowly fill up. Um, I will evenly distribute these extra engines amongst these eight machines. Okay, well, I think we're good there. Let's see, let's see how fast the lubricant is draining from the tanks. Not very fast at all. Can't even see it moving. Okay. And then let me just check the levels on the trains. 6.2K, that's a quarter of a tank. All right, so let's change that back to 12.5. Since these will be running in larger quantities, that's half a wagon, half a wagon, half a wagon. 
Is that enough? Yeah, probably enough. That's probably fast enough. I mean, this is not going to be burning through raw materials nearly as quickly as some of the other builds are. Okay, so I think we're all set on the engine build. Looks good to me. And we were able to do it fairly efficiently with our resources by not, you know, by not using more modules than we actually need or beacons on those two machines, maxing out the other ones. You know, even this, even this electric engine unit could probably get by with, you know, maybe two fewer beacons here on the top or something, but, uh, actually let's take a look at that. What if we only had 10 beacons? Then we're at 0.952. So which ones do we remove? The ones in the corners? Okay. And we could probably even do the same on the engine units, but I'll let those go. All right, so that just saved one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That saved us nine beacons and 18 speed modules, which is practically nothing. <laughs> but every little bit counts, and it's kind of fun to figure out how to do things as lean as possible. Okay, so I've got a lot of iron I need to get rid of. Uh, let's get rid of copper. Let's get rid of steel. I think I'll keep the gear wheels. Those are handy to have. And then we can get rid of those blue assemblers. Uh, I have a lot of extra pipe. Okay. And let's get rid of those extra pumps as well. Okay, and then checking power. We're still good. All right, so engines are checked off. Like I said, I'll work on steel in between episodes, and it'll get done when it gets done. Um, and then next we'll do the labs. Um, I'll run the calculation. Like I said, I think we need about 100 labs or so, uh, each with 12 beacons in order to consume all the science that we're going to be producing. Um, the nice thing about where we are now is that mining productivity always takes 60 seconds, so you can, you can fine-tune your lab set up a little more precisely than you can when you're doing general research. You know, since with a lot of the other researches, the amount of time varies and it makes it hard to, to plan precisely. You just have to kind of hit your average or your worst case, depending on how you like to design it. Um, and it looks like, yeah, it looks like all the infinite research, except for follower robot count, they're all 60 second researches. So, so that makes it fairly easy. Okay. Well, thanks a lot for watching everybody. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.